Thank you, Dr. Graylow. And I'd first like to congratulate Dr. Whelan um, and his colleagues for this very important trial and these very exciting results. Uh, we have known for a long time from prospective randomized phase three trials for women with early stage breast cancer who are managed surgically with breast conserving surgery, that many of them are cured with their surgery and endocrine therapy alone and do not benefit or do not need radiation treatment. Um, historically, we have tried to use clinical and pathological variables to identify these patients, things like age, tumor size, hormone receptor status, grade, surgical margin, meaning did we get the tumor out? And those trials have shown that, yes, indeed, we can identify some patients um, for whom radiation doesn't seem to, to provide significant benefit. But this is the first molecularly stratified test and trial to see whether we can go above and beyond clinical and pathological variables to identify this patient population. Really, in keeping with the theme of this meeting, uh, it really is a personalized approach to identifying these patients. And so, as Dr. Whelan mentioned, <clears throat> identifying these patients based on their intrinsic molecular subtype of the tumor based on the biology, not just clinical or pathological features, suggests that we can really identify these patients who are at very low risk of their cancer coming back, less than 5%, far less than 5%, 2% at five years, which is very, very exciting. And this is the first of several trials that will be presented in the next few years that have really looked at these types of approaches. Um, there's the IDEA trial, the Precision trial, the Primetime trial. These are all trials similar to the Lumina trial that will look at molecular subtypes or molecular testing using Oncotype or PAM50 with ProSigna to identify patients at low risk of local recurrence. And of course, um, Dr. Whelan is also leading uh, the, the Taylor RT trial, which is looking at a similar approach of radiation omission in women who have node positive breast cancer, and perhaps we can um, stop treating patients with radiation in that setting as well. So again, I want to congratulate Dr. Whelan and his colleagues on the first of several to come trials that will really let us understand who uh, we can avoid treating with radiation who is at such low risk of the cancer coming back that they don't need to undergo um, the, the treatment with radiation and uh, excellent study.